In the previous lecture, we looked at what I called a simple equation, where just terms were added together. In this lecture, we're going to look at a more complex equation. Let us say we, we have a cylinder. And of that cylinder, we measure the, the mass. We measure the diameter. And we measure the density. And now from these three measurements, we want to be able to calculate or estimate the length of the cylinder. Now that, that obviously sounds like something kind of stupid and roundabout in a way of doing it, but um, for example, it is a way to, to measure how much um, cable there would be on a, on a spool if you have a let's say a, a spool of, of, of copper wire, then you can measure the mass of it, the diameter of it, and if you know the density of copper, you can, you can figure out how long that piece of copper rolled up is. And, and the way you do that is you have to have the, the formula to get to the length, and, and that formula is that the length is equal to um, 4 times the mass, and then that divided by pi times the diameter squared and times the density. So by making these three separate measurements through this equation, we can figure out what the length is. And in many cases, when we make measurements, we make some, some incoming measurements that through a calculation becomes our final result. Um, in the electrical world, for example, through Ohm's law, you can measure uh, voltage and current to, to figure out a resistance. And it's sort of the, the same idea here. And so we use this equation together with an uncertainty budget for the mass measurement, for how uncertain that is, certainty budget for the diameter measurement, and an uncertainty budget for the density measurement, to then figure out what the uncertainty of our overall length determination is. And, and for each of them, we'll have to calculate what we call a, a, a sensitivity coefficient, and that's what we get out of this formula, but that's something we'll get back to in, in a later lecture, uh, exactly how we're going to do that. But, but this is just an example of a more complex kind of equation that can describe our measurement.